So you want to become a freelance video editor. This is me when I first started video editing. I had the goal of becoming a professional video editor and making money from my laptop. Fast forward to present day, I've got over 250 million views to my name. And most importantly, I make Wi-Fi money doing what I love. This video is absolutely everything I've learned over that time, condensed into just five key principles so you can apply them and start seeing similar results. Firstly, we have equipment. I started out video editing for fun on a $50 PC that I got from eBay. To this day, I still have no clue how it handled the editing software Premiere Pro because it was so bog standard. But most of all, it taught me that you don't need all the newest, best gear to get started with video editing. Yes, this secondhand $50 PC did crash a lot. Yes, I did have to take the entire setup downstairs in my house to plug it into my Wi-Fi router to upload projects. And yes, it did take ages to export a video. But with this awful Wi-Fi and awful computer, I still managed to secure my first million subscriber client. We'll talk about exactly how I did that a bit later on in the video. Ultimately, you need to make the most of the equipment and the circumstances you already have if you want to succeed with video editing. With lower quality equipment comes more frustration and issues, but as you start gaining clients, you can start to buy better and better equipment. I'm happy to say I no longer edit on that $50 PC and have upgraded to a MacBook and a second monitor, just so I can have Chrome and my File Explorer on one monitor and the editing software on the other. But nevertheless, I gained the clients first and then thought about my equipment. This brings me on to my second point which is software. On the very first day that the thought of editing popped into my head, I remember being sat on my little $50 PC and googling best video editing software for a good few hours. After wasting a few hours trying to make up my mind, I settled on downloading a free editing software. I can't remember the name of it, but this software would crash and crash and crash. I had a specific video I was working on too. I wasn't just casually checking out the software. I was locked in, in the zone, and this software would not give me a break. After a while of battling with this trashy software, I finally caved in and decided to pay a small amount of money for a program called Premiere Pro. Now, the lesson here came when I realized that having messed around on the trashy software for a few hours, it actually given me a good few skills and a basic understanding of video editing to take over to Premiere Pro. Many video editors think that once you learn a software, you're stuck with it forever. But in reality, the vast majority of editing skills are transferable from software to software. All in all, I'd personally recommend Adobe Premiere Pro but software goes in the same category as equipment, and that category is not to worry about it too much when you're just getting started. Now, if you can picture me when I first started video editing, I've now got my equipment sorted, I've got my software sorted, I'm sat staring blankly at Premiere Pro, what on earth do I do next? Well, the next thing we're going to think about is learning. The biggest mistake new video editors make is not understanding when they've done a crap edit. The antidote to this is continual learning. With the obvious point of consuming content about video editing, about YouTube and about the creator economy aside, to become a professional video editor, you need to be continually learning and acquiring new skills. The main thing that helped me early on in my editing journey is what I like to call consuming content intentionally. Instead of watching brain rot on TikTok or watching some trashy TV show on Netflix, consume content that is going to help you get wherever you want to be. Consume this content and think about the editing techniques they've used, how you can replicate them, or think about the strategy they've used to maintain your attention. With anything, but with digital skills especially, how you spend your time online will dictate your future. If you use it as a time vacuum, you will see scarcity. Now, with the learning side of things and literally every point in this video, there were potholes and hurdles that I fell into face first. To help you on your video editing journey and to help you avoid all the late nights, missed deadlines and lost opportunities, I've put this entire video and even more into a complete checklist to becoming a freelance video editor. I did initially plan on selling this, but you can actually download it completely for free if I can send you a few high value emails in return. To download this right now, simply click the second link in the description. My next point is on productivity. Flashing back to when I first started video editing, I've got my equipment sorted, my software sorted, and I'm starting to pick up video editing. I start working on a few little projects here and there, and as much as I love doing it, there are certain times where it feels absolutely tedious. Maybe I'm tired that day or just haven't had a great day, but my ability to zone in and enter flow state is just not there. Flow state is when you're working on something that you're so invested in and passionate about 
that you forget to eat, you lose track of time, and all of a sudden you blink and the project is finished. You've reached your goal effortlessly and to the best standard possible. Productivity is something I've struggled with massively throughout my career. And to save you this massive issue, here's a few quick pointers that have allowed me to spend up to 16 hours a day in flow states editing videos. However, I'm not recommending you should do that. Now, I hate the taste of coffee. So what I do is swish around some instant coffee and some milk, down it, and a shot of that gives me a quick hit of caffeine to burn off throughout the day and gets me pumped to smash out some videos and make some money. It's not for everyone, but that's just what I do. Next, I sit at my desk and eliminate all distractions. I put my phone to one side so I can't see or touch it. I stick on some music and I have a think about the outcome and the goal of this flow state. I found it will come naturally because I'm inherently passionate about what I do. So I don't force myself to not go grab something to eat or not do this or that. It's a gradual transition into complete flow state. With that said, I've now got all the pieces of the puzzle to get started with my video editing career. And we're ready for the key ingredient, which is finding clients. I was able to find my first million subscriber client within just three weeks of starting editing and here's exactly how I did that. A lot of editors will lead you to believe that cold email, Twitter and Fiverr are the best ways of picking up clients. A few weeks into my video editing career I developed a unique method of gaining perfect clients with millions of subscribers on demand. This unlocked the floodgates for me and I was able to meet or work alongside YouTubers that I'd been watching for years. What you're going to want to do is firstly make a hit list of YouTubers you'd love to edit for. Have a look through who you subscribe to on YouTube and add a few into your hit list. Next, you're going to want to find raw, preferably unedited footage of them. This could be an old video, for example, or a podcast. Then you can simply type in the letters P and I after YouTube in the domain to download that video. And after that, we're going to drag it into our editing software and re-edit it better. Don't be afraid to invest hours and hours into this. If you'd normally just be wasting time or you're struggling for income at the moment, I do not want to hear the old, what if they don't see it or I oh, don't want to waste my time. Because if you do it correctly and you're good at editing, then this will pay off. I get response rates in the hundreds of percent, but I'll come on to that in just a moment. So now we've got our re-edited clip of this YouTuber. It doesn't have to be any longer than 30 seconds or so. Make sure you've done it in their style and with their branding. What we're gonna do now is go onto their about page on their YouTube channel. And there we can find both their email address and their Twitter or Instagram. Now we're going to send them a nice professional email, firstly explaining that you've made them a free sample video and then briefly explaining who you are and how you can help them with their editing. Keep this fairly short and highlight key parts in bold as they will just skim over this email. Then simply attach your sample video, title the email something like their channel name in all capitals and then sample video and then we're good to hit send. It's important that we send them both a tweet and a DM with a shortened down version of this email. And when you tweet them, this tweet may even go viral. I tweeted one of my sample videos and the tweet actually went semi-viral and I ended up getting 20 plus large YouTubers in my DMs asking me to edit for them. This is how I'm able to get massive conversion rates on my outreach and find clients on demand. I genuinely believe that if you're able to nail this method that I've just told you, you'll be able to handcraft your editing career and work with whoever you want within reason. I go over this method in a ton more detail and actually delve into my real life examples of me doing this method successfully within my course Editors Academy. I've taken absolutely everything I've learned on my video editing journey from clueless to 250 million views and earning tens of thousands doing what I love and I've packed it into Editors Academy. It takes you from complete beginner to pro video editor in just 14 days, showing you firstly how to learn video editing and then how to monetize it. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So the final piece in the puzzle is niching down. I personally work with business and entrepreneurship YouTubers at the moment, as that's the area that interests me the most. With this method nailed, I can hand select who I want to work with and I can niche down into areas I'm interested in. If you're genuinely passionate about the content you're editing, you're going to be able to produce better quality videos. The passion you have for the subject and the content is displayed within your final edit. Once you're a capable video editor and you've mastered the client acquisition strategy that I've introduced you to, you'll be able to find your way around the editing software and bring your ideas to life, but also work with your dream clients and create content you're genuinely passionate about. Thank you for watching.